here we have a um, Mariano Tezanos Torres model made in 2007, um, courtesy of um, Steve Walker, who's a very good friend and student. And um, he let me borrow this for this occasion. And Mariano was actually a very good friend of mine. He passed away a few years ago. Uh, this is a guitar that reflects uh, Antonio de Torres, who was the, f the very first <clears throat> maker who devised this particular design that we play today um, back in the middle, middle of the 19th century. And um, as I said, it's a Torres model. The top is spruce. The back and sides are Brazilian rosewood. And um, I played uh, my piece on it because this is a very, very, what we, what we would call a very sweet guitar. And um, trebles are just really gorgeous on it. And um, I felt that the piece that I wrote would be well reflected <clears throat> with this particular instrument. Okay, so uh, the piece that I just finished called Cappuccino, um, I've told some people about that and they kind of look at me, uh, Cappuccino, why, why are you naming it that? Well, there, there, were, there are a number of reasons. I won't go into all of them, um, but this came about, I, I wrote this piece for my aunt and my sister who are right now in Florida, although they'll be going up to Ohio soon. Um, because they call me every once in a while and they tell me about how nice it is when they're sitting by the beach having a cappuccino. And um, so I, I, I wanted to dedicate something to them. And I, I just thought of, well, how's this going to happen? I wrote the piece and I was uh, about, well, I was, when was that? About a week ago or so, I was in 
the cappuccino bar over at Italy, over in North Park. And as I was having a cappuccino, uh, my wife Anita mentioned, hey, maybe you should write, an, you know, your title should be an ode to cappuccino. And I just thought, cappuccino, that's great because my aunt and my sister are always having a cappuccino. So that's where the title came from. While we were sitting at um, Italy having a cappuccino and a cornetto as well. <laughs> and um, so that's how that came about. And then you can take the rest of it any way you like. Uh, cappuccino also refers to uh, monks who have a cappuccino on their head, you know, in, in, in monasteries in the mountains. Um, uh, but yeah, I think I was looking at more in terms of uh, something creamy and fluid. So there it is.